Me and my amazing amigo, my friend Rodrigo, we're gonna go work on this amazing Mercedes W123 today. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. The weather is awesome. I'm super excited about it. All right, guys, we arrived. You guys have seen this amazing machine, the W108 and W123. She's a little dirty because Rodrigo's working on it. He actually had to replace the starter recently, or he took it out to, for like testing purposes, and then he installed a new starter. They gave him an exchange starter, so the starter is brand new, and that's all good. But the issue that we are having with this car is i'm gonna let the rodrigo speak so what are we having so this car recently it sat by your place and then you brought it here you drove it and it yeah, drove it, fine it drove fine it's just, it's not starting, it's just, it's just uh crank no yeah, start put a new battery. and then you said that it would start and it would like run for 20 seconds and 20 stall seconds didn't stop right away. okay yeah interesting so yeah, let's start investigating. Let me put some gloves on, especially that's a diesel. Amazing machine. Just so you guys know, this engine bay is looking kind of dirty like that. That's because at some point I put a lot of fluid film in here. So it's protecting the engine bay from rusting, things like that. And yeah, we know this hose is off. We're gonna install that. Um, yeah, I definitely wanna see what's going on here guys just so you know safety is number one right now what we're trying to avoid here is the wind is pretty crazy today and this windshield has been replaced recently so we don't want this hood to fly up and hit that windshield so we're just gonna attach it carefully right now so rodrigo go through right here this area around yeah like right like right over there yeah but the weather is pretty awesome actually. It's like Washington weather here today. I miss Washington weather. Today it's gonna be really nice to work on cars. All right, look at that, sweet. So that's in there now. Now we can work safely. First we're gonna see what's happening here and how she runs or if she doesn't run. And obviously, first thing, check the oil, make sure she's good and she's good. Okay. Hang on a sec. Let's try to pump this. Oh, this is like, it's not like barely any, I mean, there is fuel, but it's like, it's almost like there's no fuel. Let's see, it barely, like it's, I'm feeling pressure, but it's like not pumping enough. Something is going on. Usually when you pump all the way, you will feel the relief valve kind of do its job like and make a hissing noise, but this one doesn't really do that. It's a little bit dirty in the filter, but it's still, it's not gonna affect the, how it runs, whatever, but it's definitely, I feel like there's, there's fuel flow. There's an issue with something with the fuel related here. So it's pretty warm today. I mean, we're still gonna let the glow plug do its thing. All right, whenever you're ready, go ahead. Is this battery dead again? Yes, Rodrigo put these wheels, original wheels back on for now. Gonna, it's gonna stay as is for now. Yeah, I guess it did drain the battery. We'll have to find out more about that. So we're gonna try to jump this.
No start. No start. Okay. First, I'm gonna crank these injectors. The glow plugs are working. They've been tested. Power is getting there. They're good. And the car ran. Like I said, the car was running. And today is just pretty warm today. So one of the things you can do is take this uh, vacuum hose off of the vacuum shutoff valve. And Rodrigo already tried that, and that didn't do anything. The engine still cranks, doesn't start. Uh, so I started cleaning this. Uh, pump area because we're most likely gonna have to take that thing out so I'm just prepping for that and then uh, yeah there's some fuel in this but I feel like there's got to be more fuel in this pre-filter we need to actually he's looking for 17 millimeter wrench but I would like to open these injectors and see if there's flow to these injectors so why, what I ended up doing is I'm going to take this line off, supply line to the filter, and we're going to crank it and see if there's uh, any fuel coming out of it. I just want to see if any fuel is coming out of this, okay? Right, I mean, I'm gonna put this yeah. So I took this supply line from the fuel pump, and it goes into this filter housing. I'm gonna see if there's any fuel that comes out of here. And I put this cardboard to protect the engine mount. Okay, go ahead and install that charger or jumper and then we're gonna see if uh, there's anything. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so this one is not, there's no fuel coming out of it at all. Nothing. What if I pump it by hand? Let's see. Oh, there's something that comes out when I pump it. Look, when I pump it. Hold on, actually, let's try again before you do. Okay, so when I pump it by hand, it's working. But let's see, something is going on here. Let's see, let's try to crank it one more time. Saving amazing legends. It's actually, I mean, it's not really a common issue with these, but sometimes it can be. All right, well, he's gonna crank it one more time. Go ahead. All right, nothing. So. I'm determined this is the issue right now. We're going to start pulling this pump out and see what's up with it. Maybe it needs cleaning and maybe it's gummed up. Maybe the valves are inside are bad. So we're going to we're going to test it out. So Rodrigo went to grab more tools uh, and right now I'm just going to start working on cleaning this area some more. We're going to pull this fuel pump and I have this uh, everything ready to go. I remember replace this primer pump, so we're going to probably leave it as is. I'm not going to do anything to that. I'm just gonna loosen it up probably just to, so I can clean this pump out. Okay, so we got some parts for this car. Uh, fuel filters, fuel return hose, um, and hoses. And also a uh, fuel pump rebuild kit, gasket and all that. And we have two cans of diesel purge we're gonna do later. And uh, yeah, the process of removing that pump. Okay, so with the 12 millimeter, I loosened the oil feed line to the injection pump. I'm gonna take that off. There's two washers, so don't lose those. A little bit of oil drippage. One washer stuck to the injection pump. I'll take that off. It's gonna get all cleaned up. I took that off to get more clearance right there for the pump. While I'm here, it's a pretty quick and easy job. I'm gonna uh, replace these fuel injector return hoses. They're a little bit not looking the best. 
this clip always breaks off so make sure that you go from behind and squeeze these tabs and push it out and then remove it together with the hose and then when you have the new hose ready to go you install that on that way it's not gonna break hose is done there's that clip i was telling you about just be careful with that let's go ahead and re replace these other ones And then this one, we're gonna have to order that one. Because that one is just small, little guy. We don't have that right now, but these are all replaced, including that one. Taking the nuts off the fuel pump. So sometimes these fittings come out together. So now I'm going to separate this little fitting from that one. Okay, so now we loosened all of these fittings and this one too. It's a 19. We used a 19 deep socket for that. Now we're going to go ahead and remove these three nuts. Two more nuts left to take off for this uh, pump. Yes, yeah. So it's good. Then, right? Yeah, so we cleaned up uh, the mating surface for the gasket right there. And then check that everything is good there. We're going to focus on the pump right now. Going to kind of take it apart and clean it. Change all the O-rings, whatever we can. Device. Oh no. Hold this like that, Rodrigo. Let's take this off. You want me to take it off? Yeah, sure. Maybe no more. Take that off. You can probably do it by hand now. Just be careful there's probably a spring inside. Keep pressure on it as you're taking it off. And keep pressure on that side too. Okay, all right, cool. Yep, take that out. Alrighty. Spring is okay. 
Now this will come out this way. I think, there you go. Try to pull that out. Okay. Well, I could be wrong in there. I'm curious. These are all the internals. I'm gonna clean this really good. I don't really see anything broken here. Bearing is fine. Piston is good. So yeah. We are working hard. Very hard workers right here. I'm trying to rebuild this fuel pump. So this little o-ring we got it out a lot of people miss this step they don't replace that it sits right in there and you have to use an angled pick or something like that to get in there now i can clean it some more and install new o-ring new o-ring is right over there change this fuel filter I don't have these o-rings I believe for now I'm gonna have to reuse them just clean this bolt so there's that new o-ring just got to be really patient with it installation is sitting in there cleaned it up one more time now i'm gonna use diesel purge right here put some in there and start reassembling everything all these cleaned up parts i'm gonna put these new parts right here new valves and crush washers okay so we're gonna loop it up uh in diesel purge i'm gonna put the pin in there Piston, diesel perch, like so. I'm gonna push it in. So there's the piston, it's in. There's the pin. Gotta make sure it moves back and forth good. Cool. Right, cool. So now give me one of those uh, like this mm. from that bag. Only one in there? Should be another one somewhere. Oh, oh right there, yep. Then we're gonna put this spring in there. And then we will close it with this plug. With the new washer. I'm go ahead and install this here. Here's the new gasket. Put the gasket on. Okay guys, so everything's pretty much back together, tightened. I have these lines off. This is a brand new line, return line. We're gonna install. It's gonna go back on here. Um, now here's the funny part. When I took this feed line off, there's no fuel coming out, but you, did you say you filled it up, Rodrigo? Yes. With fuel? It was full, yeah. It was full with I fuel? It was like two months ago, three months ago. I remember. It was like Are you sure it's not leaking from anywhere underneath? No, no, no. You it's can never? even check because the parking lot where I left okay. it back there okay. is dry, bro. Dry. Gotcha, you gotcha. You can tell right away when it's leaking. Like, right yeah, here, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's right, right. It's You'll see that. Okay. Months. That's strange. Maybe just need to pump this thing out. I hope none of these lines are clogged. They shouldn't be. 
I don't know, Rodrigo said that he filled it up fully, but who knows, maybe somebody stole the diesel off of it. I'm not sure. Let's see what the gauge shows. Oh, you see it? It's showing, it's showing yeah, it was cool. something. But I don't know if it's working right. I don't know if it's working. Mm, I mean, it's jumping a little bit. It would have probably stayed at zero, if anything, but yeah, it's never trust your fuel gauge. We'll just have to see. Yeah, because the last time I got it pulled to like 68. See if you can hear it. I'm going to bounce it. You're sloshing it around. Stop. You think it's empty? So we're going to try to see if we can hear the fuel sloshing around on this one. You hear? You can hear it on this one. Stop. Do it again. You hear? Yeah. I hear it. Yeah, I hear it. And now you don't hear nothing. So we think that someone also stole the diesel off of this, but because the problem is that we're not hearing anything sloshing around in there. The gauge could be erratic. I don't know. Just get sometimes it gets stuck. But um, another problem is there's nothing. Usually there's fuel coming out of there, out of this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever did this, if you're watching this video, f you. Like if we catch you, like catching, like stealing fuel, that's just messed up, dude. Like you're just full of shit. Seriously. Money, yeah well the issue the issue is that well obviously the vacuum door locks aren't working so even if you try to push the fuel actuator level thingy uh, it doesn't stay out the pin doesn't stay out so this one's still open so we'll have to figure that out but now we need to try and get some diesel for it at least but before doing that what we're gonna do we're gonna actually try to run it with this you know with this uh, diesel purge it's kind of be like a, an external fuel tank well that's really messed up if this actually if this car uh, you know somebody stole the diesel out of this car that's really messed up but anyways we're gonna try to run this on with the diesel purge right now i mean i saw the fuel in here so i thought it was still okay but it was just a little bit like not enough like to my you know standards and then I tried this thing. This thing was pumping it. But still, <laughs> it's crazy, actually. I mean, we're going to see if it runs on the diesel part right now. But, you know, even if this pump was okay, it's still a good idea to clean it. So we did a good thing that we cleaned it. So I'm um, going to get more diesel in there. So it's submersion diesel purge. I'm going to see if fuel comes out of this hole of the line. If it does, that means that, yeah, you're, someone stole your diesel. If it turns on, if it turns on, okay. No, it's not going to turn on right now. I just need to see okay. if it's going to, just crank it just a little bit. <laughs> All right, stop. Hold on, stay there for a sec. Okay. Do it one more time. Crank it. <laughs> oh, I think it died, but it, I saw fuel coming out of here, so that's good. Yep, fuel was coming out. <laughs> I'm gonna see, open these up and see if there's fuel coming out. There. I didn't open that one. Hold on, actually, before you do that, let me add more fuel to this. Okay, try it. Yeah. A few moments later. <laughs> Just 
stop. I don't know why jumping just doesn't work on this car. Like it's still slow crank. But there's fuel there, there's fuel there. So we need to uh, crank a little bit more. Okay, try again. Whenever you're ready. Should start soon. Running off of diesel purge now. There it is, bro. She's alive. Someone stole your diesel, bro. Oh, there's no diesel? So, you see I'm running it off of an external tank right now. So, there's, there's no diesel, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Okay guys, well, I shut it off and we're gonna have to put fresh diesel in, but it's sad because Rodrigo had, uh, about two months ago, he had a bunch, about, uh, he had a full tank pretty much of diesel in it and then someone, I guess, stole it, sadly. But it's, it is what it is. Uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be fine. We replaced these fuel hoses, rebuilt the fuel pump, uh, this new hose, and we're gonna install new filter right there um and yeah she's she's gonna be great there's not much diesel purge left so just a little bit yeah nice well see this one it has a locking fuel cap and it's actually mercedes it's a star let's see, let's see if it opens actually or you actually hasn't tried it you might have to hold the cap and then turn the key Wow, this is such a cool thing. This is such a rare part. So that's the reason part. why I haven't took the gas right Yeah, I know. Wow, these, these thieves are like out of their minds. And this is basically like a, a parking place where there's, you know, some semi trucks, some people with, you know, semis and trailers and locked. things like that. Yep, this is locked. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. And the crazy part is that um, I thought that uh, the well, the fuel pump wasn't really a huge problem on here, but I thought that it kind of like tricked me because I thought that the fuel tank was actually full because Rodrigo told me that he refilled it all the way. So I didn't know that the fuel tank is actually like, there's nothing and there's, there's no stream of uh, nothing coming out of here, of this line, feed line. So that's why I went immediately to this pump, to this line, to make sure. Oh, thanks bro, appreciate you. Ooh, I like this. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. Oh wow. Whichever one, bro. I, I'll take maybe. Doesn't matter. I like both. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Thank you, bro. But uh, yeah. So this, going back to this situation, that's why I took off this the, this feed line and I decided to crank the engine. There was nothing coming out, but when you pumped it, there was some something coming out. So I thought maybe it's a pump because, you know, if nothing was coming out when I was pumping this, then I would know something is not right. But that's why. I thought it was a pump but then at the end we realized that it was actually you know <laughs> there's no fuel so we're about to go get some uh diesel for this thing um and then we're gonna take it home actually yeah she's good she's gonna be all right yep yeah, yeah but it's okay we got some uh fresh parts for this baby and uh it's okay this car is gonna you know it's just a matter of time but right now you know the, the times are a little tough so in the future this car is still gonna get fully restored the suspension that i did on it back in like 2017 is still fresh still amazing no issues there it's pretty awesome all right so we installed fresh fuel filter right there this fuel filter i'm gonna go grab diesel now and uh she will be running on her own soon 
But what a crazy, crazy, crazy day. Who would have thought that this car would have issues starting because someone stole the diesel, you know? And Rodrigo didn't even know about it. He actually thought that, the, you know, he filled up and everything is good. And the gauge, as far as the gauge, it shows a little over half, but the thing is that the gauge is probably just needs to be cleaned and it's stuck in that one position, even when they drain the fuel. One hour later. Yeah. All right, we got some fuel. All right, so you want me to put that first? Or? Uh, yeah, so no, just fill it up first with oh. that, and then we're gonna end up putting the diesel perch shortly. It's definitely empty. You can hear the like drum. Yeah, you can hear it hitting the metal. Dang. Crazy people, man, around this world. They will get their karma, it's okay. So my poor car was struggling with gas the whole time. Uh -huh. Okay, sh it, shake that. Yeah. You hear it? I hear it. There you go, look at that clean diesel coming out. Look at that. Now this is what you call pretty much a full pre-filter. All right, and you hear that noise too. This is the noise that we were not hearing before. Let me know. Like nothing. How's she doing, bro? She's doing good? She's driving. All right, bro. That's good. That's good. That's good. How you like the classic Mercedes? You love them? That's good. <laughs>
Yeah. See if it starts. Nice, nice, there you go. Great car, they don't make them like they used to.